Before we begin, I want to show you something. In this video, you'll see me using a lot of keyboard shortcuts. To find a list of those shortcuts, go to the Help and Keyboard Shortcuts. And here's a list of all the different shortcuts that you can use. All right, let's build this. It's called a cube within a cube. Before we begin our project, we need to make sure our units are in inches. To do this, go to your account over here, my account, over here, preferences, units, make sure they are in inches. Click Save, and now go back to our project. Click here, back to our document, and now we're ready. First, in your Documents view, create a document, and you'll call this document Cube in a Cube, and you click OK. Here are the different 3D view planes. I can go over here to change them. I can click on this down arrow to get some predetermined views. Or I can right click, or on my Mac, I'm holding both fingers down at the same time and moving it around. Okay. First, sketch. Choose one of the work planes. Now I'm going to hit the letter N on the keyboard. The letter N will change the view to a flat view of the sketch on that work plane that you chose. Next, I'm going to choose a center point rectangle. I could go with a rectangle where you start here, you drag it out, but I want a center point. I'm going to click right here in the center. I'm going to bring it out you can bring it out to whatever. And then automatically it's waiting for me to enter a value here. So I enter 5, hit return, and now it jumps to the other one. And I hit 5 again. Just like that. Now I'm going to accept the sketch by clicking on that green check mark. And now I want to 3D this a little bit because I want to make it 3D. I want to add volume to that shape. Extrude. This box opens up. I enter a value of 5, 5 inches. And now I accept that. And I'm going to center it. And now I want to get rid of this by choosing the letter P for work plane. You can hide and show this with the letter P. Okay, now the fun begins. I'm going to select a surface, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say new sketch. I could also just go up here to sketch. And now, do you remember which letter I pressed to flatten this out? Correct, the letter N. Now I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to start with the center of this edge. Do you see how this appears, this little box? And now I'm going to move over. Do you see those little yellow dots? We'll call those little marching ants. Now you see where it intersects with this one here? But if that doesn't happen, just touch another edge until you get the center. Come up with the marching ants and right there. Click. Just drag it out anywhere. Now enter a value of 3. There you go. Now let's say you ended up, I'm going to undo this. I can do an undo right here or control Z. So I undid that and I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, okay, I want my circle. There's my center. Like that. And I accidentally hit this one. Oh no, I forgot to dimension it. Don't worry. I can just double click on the line or I can go over to here. This is the story of my part. Here was my original sketch. They had extrusion, where we added volume to it, and then here's my second sketch. Double click on it, it activates the sketch, and now I click on this, the dimension tool. 
or just hit the letter D. I click there, tells me that's 2.9, I want it 3, and hit return. I can accept that and looks good. I 3D it a little bit. I select this area so this turns a little bit orange. I right click and I say extrude again. But this time instead of coming out, we're going to remove material at a depth of 1.5 inches. Hit enter. I accept that. Looks good. And there it is. And did you see how this appeared right here? There's my second extrusion. If I made a mistake, no problem. Double click on the extrusion. Let's say I needed it at 2 instead of 1.5. I could enter 2. But we want to leave it at 1.5. I'm going to continue this with all of the rest of the sides.